All right, this is Movi uh, Blackjack tutorial on Autotune version three. Um, so a little bit of history on Autotune. We first developed this for Movi M10, M15, M5. It took about 45 seconds and it just, Autotune just tuned the stiffness setting so that people didn't have to manually drive it. That was a big improvement, but we knew we could do better. So we went back to the drawing board, developed Autotune version two when we released Movi Pro. And what that one did is it, it tuned uh, stiffness and filter settings in about 10 seconds. So that took away one more thing from the user. Um, we, come, we came back with Blackjack for Autotune version three. And what that does is it tunes stiffness, filter, and inertia of the camera package so that it can define an acceleration limit. And I wanna explain a little bit behind why that's important. So kind of diving into the physics of a Movi, we've got a pan motor, a tilt motor, a roll motor. Each of these motors can develop a maximum amount of torque, and that torque can be used to accelerate the camera package. Um, we need to know, in order to accelerate the camera package and decelerate the camera package as quick as possible, we need to understand what the inertia of this camera package is. Now, Autotune version 3 tells us that, so we can apply an acceleration limit, which will try as best it can to keep the movements within that acceleration limit. Um, Having this is really important because now it allows us to run much higher hold strengths. And I want to demonstrate what that does for us. I've set this Movi up to be a really aggressive um, whip pan mode. And you can see now that we know the acceleration limits, we can do really wild things and it will do its best. You saw that it just overshot there. That's because I exceeded the maximum torque that the motor could use to slow the camera package down. And this is kind of the trade-off that I want to highlight. If you want to have really, really active control like this, you're going to have to learn what the maximum your Movi can do and then stay slightly within that threshold. Because, you know, if you exceed what these motors can do, if they're applying 100% of their available torque to try and control the camera package, yet the, the accelerations are beyond that, the Movi loses its ability to compensate and control the camera package. So um, you can do that two ways. We can set it up to be real, real slow so that we know it will never exceed the control limits of the Movi, or we can set it up to be really, really active and the operator can take a little bit of time to learn what those limits are. Like I can learn that I can do anything like these moves and the Movi can handle it no problem. You know, I can do very, very fast tilts. It does seem to keep up no problem. But if I purposely whip as fast as possible, it can't keep up there and it overshot. And it took, a, it took a, t a little bit of time for it to get it back under control. But once I learn a little bit, I learn what the thresholds are, I can operate and it allows a whole different kind of operating with the Movi than was previously possible. I think another th interesting thing to think about is there's a different amount of inertia for each axis. Like you can see tilt can respond very, very quickly. Tilt has very, very low inertia. so the amount of motor torque per unit inertia might be much higher on tilt or roll than it is on pan. Pan has all this stuff to move around. It's got this big camera, it's got all this structure, it's got all this weight hanging fore and aft. So that's a lot of work for that pan motor to do. But roll and tilt don't have quite as much. You can see they can follow very nicely. So you'll, as you set it up, you'll learn the limits for each thing. If you don't like this, this method of setup, you can definitely slow things down so that you never hit those acceleration limits. But I think as an operator, when you need to move the gimbal quickly, this is a really nice option to have. It just takes a little bit of time to understand what the limitations are and then work with them. So that's a good explanation as to how you can set your Movi up for whip pans. Uh, additionally, you can dive in and set different acceleration limits from slow, medium, fast to unlimited depending on your use case. Um, you also have the ability to vary hold strengths so that you can get the exact kind of behavior you desire. Nice, fast, and precise control, but still the level of smoothness you want.